we need to stay silent. She's going to be hitting 10 a turn for 3 turns 30. And the other two at 7, 14, 28. Not enough. So we need one of them to be on loud. Ducks can be on loud. Calling out. <laughs> uh, it's gonna start pulsing soon. Things are gonna go bad real quick. All right, let's. things from off the zone. Maybe and it's pulsing. I think she just cheated. dog. Two bonus dogs. This one's over. Okay, so we can't tree the dogs. Oh, I'm wounded. Yeah, no, it's okay, so. So we have to take this one out first, which is fine. We'll just tree the dogs uh, afterwards. But if that auto saved there, it should have auto saved when we left combat before. It's okay. Got that scrap, guys. Alright, we'll just go after the wolf first. Or the big one first. So then the interesting thing is, which we won't find out, if you skip this fight. Um, and go inside, will this pod that's out here start activating? Because it's connected to the tree. So the other question is, if we knock it out... Will the pod start? Where is the pod? Pod's over there. 
Stay back, guys. If these two shoot from up here, it'll be if the... I think if we knock it out, we can take down... <clears throat> the, we take the pod down anyway. position maybe we maybe it doesn't even I think from that position it doesn't even call the pod <coughs> so we want to get Borman on the other side of it and then charge it down this way Does summon the pod though? We'll have to do do what we're doing now, but from here and take the pod first. Silence as well. So you got a line us up. Um, Selma got a shot from here. She does. Alright, cool. Feel that? And she's got her 100% crit as well. Death of the right. pod will stone triggers the pod, but I don't think it will. Quiet weapons. Uh. And sometimes the solution is works out to be so simple. Hey, follow me. Alright, then we just take this one down silently. And it won't call those ones, hopefully. There's no one around to stop this one, so. Um The Zone Wolves might some of the pod spawner. Oh, we need someone around to enter combat with this. Which is kind of funny that you can't just enter combat with it. Ladder weapons from the other side, maybe from over here, they can use big boy guns. I don't even think the wolves can do anything. If that wolf goes further away... We could just tree them. 
I think treating them is the safest option. Oh, I just use a med kit. I want to have the cooldowns for the final fight. I think that's probably... I think having the cooldowns for the final fight is better because we've got med kits. So if someone takes a hit... Like, what do we got range-wise? Damage-wise right now, we've got 10... 22... No, we probably are. We are better off rooting them. Right, well, as soon as they come back, as soon as that one comes back, we just root them and... Then we'll get her cool... We'll get the root cooldown back. One kill into the... Con into the... The boss fight. Groot them. What was that? I oh, was a bird. <laughs> I saw the that little raven down in the corner there. <laughs> Scared the bejeebus out of me. Alright. We could shoot at one from a really long range and go in Overwatch on the other guys. That was the raven. Cool. The fact that she also gets to shoot is just ridiculous, right? Bormans charge. If he charges someone close enough, he also gets to shoot. And there's been a couple fights where you charge one guy and then shoot a different one. And so you end up getting a big kill on the one that is standing, and the other one that's on the ground is uh, is dazed. Inside here. Something up there. Is that loot loot or is that a chest? Oh, it's a med kit. No, we probably don't need the med kit. Oh! Big pecs, Jim. Uh, it's so bad. Oh, there's a pod there. Oh, okay, so we're just killing it. Look at the, oh, look at that thing postulating and yeah. This one's not keeping... The compass is not keeping track of enemies for us in here. It's, um... 
Let's find out what's going on inside. I'm just going to enter combat with this guy because I don't know what's going on, right? Tree heart. Oh, there's a tank there as well. Let's just, just back up there. Back it up. Regroup. down here and start walking at the heart. Look at this tree. There's also something over like in the in the very far distance. Um, that I don't think we'll be able to see from here in here. Oh, oh doesn't like that. Oh. There. I think that's just a normal pod. Might have to go check that out. Hey guys, come here. Without falling through the floor. So much mist. Look at all the enemies. Oh, that's a that's a lot of enemies. I wonder if they're all like that's just the heart. These are just regular pod swarmers. Looks like they're just regular pod spawners. to get the dinosaur worshipping giant lizards sure why not okay so we've got a burner and 22 we can stealth in that's a tank and a rooter I think that might just end the game though, Fox. And I want to kind of do all the fights. So we can definitely take down that guy from stealth. We should also be able to take that out without anyone noticing. Um, like that's the important part is getting rid of the foes. <coughs> Apparently we don't have range on it though. So, for science. Biggest issue is without we're using loud weapons, like it, it potentially take. Man, look at there's another spawner over there. Like we need three full turns. I think we can do it. Um, 
So it comes down to whether or not um, they wake up when it dies. Right, Borman hits her, hits there. Selma hits there. All right, let's find out. A heart nodule. That's a heart nodule over there. Okay, we need to go take this guy down to stealth. Few of them around. Um, there's another. There's like a destroyer. Yeah, it's a destroyer behind the tank. Okay, back me up. We can't take out the burner um, because the, the tank will... He's too close to the tank there. But we're going to have to try and just like pluck off as many individuals as we can here and rotate cooldowns, I think. And I'm pretty sure we need, we're going to need the height um, to get that spawner. means I need to get up there because I think this range <gasps> this is easy oh we can take this here though maybe I don't know I mean, we can take that little guy but we need to balance cooldowns I think we just want to take this right now. Or do we take it from no, I think we take it from there. So let's go let's go around the back and see what there is. Okay, back me up. So a lot of these are going to be fine to get our cooldowns back off. That guy's the one that... this The jumper here is going to be an issue. So we need to... We need to take him out when he's on his own out the back. And we're going to have to use a twitch shot. Or a boar rush. Some, um, 
Probably the boar rush. Oh. No, I want to use the twitch shot from Silent. Oh! That crow, man. Come on. Give me space. I need to get up on that, um, on that the top of the slide entrance there. There's a way up. So if we take the jumper out by himself with a twitch shot, then we can pick off the um, the burner to get a cooldown back, and then we can just take down this spawner in our own time, and that'll be the three kills. So we need to get the jumper first. Jump when he's on his own down the back. Where's Selma? She's up here. Aggro all the enemies. Yeah, I've done that before, accident. Well, not in here, but. Keep walking. Keep walking. Selma, this is your time to shine. change camera angle then. This zone has been the one, that, the, like the most packed area uh, out of both campaigns. <laughs> 